Hey, it's Bill here, and I'm at Seven World Trade Center in New York City, which is FXDD's headquarters, and I'm joined today by Simon Grunfeld of Gallant VPS, and Simon's going to take us through the actual the VPS or the FXDD cloud trader that we now offer. We're going to talk about some of the features and benefits of that, and Simon, who's better than you as the president of Gallant uh, VPS to take us through it? So why don't we start? So one of the big features of any platform mm -hmm. is the way that it manages expert advisors, indicators, anything that's sort of like an add-on preset to MetaTrader proper. In this case, what I wanted to do is do a short demo on how you upload an EA and two other indicators okay. and get them attached to the chart. So, I think that's pretty important. So, yeah. Very important. So we're going to hit upload. Drop that menu comes down. We're going to go ahead and choose the files. Let's go ahead and choose an expert advisor. Just, we're going to label it, obviously, as an EA. This way, the system knows exactly gotcha. which folder to draw. So as soon as you hit upload, you get this pop-up window. Exactly. Let's go ahead and choose two more indicators also to complement it. So then these indicators come out of your library or where you download Well, this is anybody who downloads an indicator, gotcha. an EA, a script, anything like that. Mm -hmm. Once they get a hold of it and it's sitting mm -hmm. on their desktop or anywhere in their computer, gotcha. this is how then they go. Then you go and upload. drag it. Exactly. Perfect. We're going to go ahead and hit upload. Now, what's happening now is that once, uh, once we've got a hold of the code, uh, the Platform takes it, uploads it, and actually puts it into the proper folders inside of MetaTrader. Once that's done, our system actually then restarts MetaTrader because a lot of issues that people have sometimes is that they go ahead and they, they try to add on all these you know, scripts and stuff, and they right. get to just restart it. So what our system is doing is once it's uploaded, it goes ahead and restarts it so that it's a fresh new installation with the code that we've just uploaded already available inside the navigator. So Simon, now that we've actually uploaded mm -hmm. these particular indicators and, and these EAs, how simple is it to get it working in your MetaTrader platform? Just like any other trading environment, basically dragging into the chart, you'll have the features pop up, you allow live trading, trading, hit OK, and you're done. Just as normal. Go ahead and actually turn on the Expert Advisor feature. Once you have the smiley face, you're good to go. This, this chart looks very happy. It's got the smiley face, so obviously everything is working. Right. So what else can we show us in here today? There's a lot of things going on here. Well, yeah, we have a lot of features and functionality, things that really benefit the trader. Uh, everything from account management, if they have multiple VPS accounts, to be able to switch accounts. Uh, if they uh, switch in between their accounts, is really So simple. if you have multiple VPS accounts, you simply go up to Correct. switch VPS Close. and choose the account you want to be working in, which Close. is fantastic. Uh, is a little feature we uh, put in for uh, FXD customer to deposit funds. So if they're already trading and uh, for whatever reason right now they need to go mm -hmm. ahead and deposit funds, they click on that. This take you right to the deposit funds page, exactly. which is great. So and seamless. You, yeah, seamless. And as you can see, FXDD offers multiple ways that you can actually deposit your funds. Change language. This is interesting. I actually really like this feature because. Okay. Yeah, let's talk a little bit more so, detail about yeah, this. Well, you know, uh, FXD is a global brand, obviously, and you have customers all over the world, and they have their preferred language that uh, they like to engage in. So, obviously, English is the default, but we also support a you know, wide range, such as Russian, we've got Chinese, Korean, mm -hmm. Spanish. German. Wow. German. Arabic. Ar Arabic, Vietnamese. Let's go ahead and select, uh, I guess, uh, I don't know, that's one of the exotic ones. There you go, Chinese. And of course, he's like, answer in Chinese. Yep. As you can see, all the labels are now in Chinese. That's fantastic. And it's just, again, with the click of a button, it's pretty quick. Right. Which is very nice to see. Now, if we go up into this area, if we could switch back to English and we go up into this area, there's a lot of stuff we talked about, you know, even off camera, mm -hmm. about social media. And, you know, traders, a lot of times, traders feel like they're on an island, they're by themselves. You know, trading can be a lonely business. But this allows you to socially interact or see what's going on in the trading world right inside the platform itself. Right. Maybe you can tell us a little bit more about this over here. That'd be great. So the various widgets that FXD is offering to the customers of the cloud are uh, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and a few, uh, few variations on an RSS feed. And what this is supposed to do is essentially provide the trader with breaking news, promotions mm -hmm. that FXD is offering, anything that you want to engage your customers with. Same thing with Twitter. Um, What's interesting is we also have a YouTube widget here. So if we click on the YouTube widget, basically you'll see all the videos that FXCD is offering mm -hmm. to educate their traders, bring people up to speed on exactly new latest offerings and advancements. Uh, I know a little, I know a little stuff about those videos. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can imagine. Uh, also, we have a uh, chat, so any of uh, your customers can engage you immediately while they're already at working in the platform in real time. That is very important. I mean, yeah. traders understand that a lot of times we see the traders, they don't want to make the phone call. They just feel more comfortable just chatting via live chat. So right. to be able to stay in the platform and reach out to us via live chat and get your question answered is a very, very nice feature to have right. here. 
The other thing I do want to touch upon is the Twitter world. Mm -hmm. Because what a lot of people don't realize, or maybe they've realized now that they've been active on Twitter, is a lot of news breaks on Twitter before it hits the mainstream media. So having that access inside the platform at your fingertips is paramount to somebody maybe having a successful trade or not. Right. So I, I like the fact that we built all this social media in here, and of course, as you know, the news feed, which is this RSS feed right here, that comes from Forex Live. If you haven't been there, go to forexlive.com and check it out. Now, all up here, we have just a couple different things we can talk about. I guess you can get reports and, and your EA library, and we've talked about all these things. If you can just maybe touch on any one of these or the rest of them. And sure. So again, dashboard has to do with account functionality. We already looked at what it takes to upload an EA. Mm -hmm. um, Sometimes Meta within itself, for whatever reason, sometimes has a way of freezing up. So we have a quick refresh button there. Uh, reports. So this ties right into the FXC mm -hmm. reporting engine. So yep. if you click on that, automatically be uh, brought to right uh, to our report viewer, and you can pull your MetaTrader report, which is fantastic. Exactly. Mobile access. So um, this is actually interesting. Uh, what happens is, is a lot of mobile users prefer to use what's called a VNC viewer, virtual network connector. Okay. And to do so, you need to have a separate set of credentials. So we actually create those credentials for each user you need gotcha. for each user to actually access it. Gotcha. Cancel that. Uh, reformatting VPS. Uh, so you know, after a while, depending on how many EAs you've run through sure. and how big your list is, you might want to just do a, you know, a whole new sweep and just clean everything else. Is, is that kind of like rebooting your machine or rebooting clearing machine. your cookies? Exactly. So gotcha. a, a reformat. Uh, change platform. So. Uh, for different platforms that you want to offer, for example, your institutional relationships, if you mm -hmm. have IDs, your gotcha. company managers, signal mm -hmm. defenders. Display, changes the display size, and of course the EA library sort of like ties in with changing platforms. Gotcha. If you want to offer different tools to your customers, this is where they would find gotcha. it. Well, that's great. Well, listen, everybody, we've taken you through a lot of the features and benefits of the VPS, or so the FXTD Cloud Trader, and Simon, again, thank you very, very much for thank coming here today. Me. I do appreciate it. For all you traders out there, best of luck in your trading endeavors, and if you have any questions, don't forget to come to FXDD, and we'll do our best to answer them. Have a great day.